and goodbye Hump. Jazz musician and anti-panel game show host of I'm Sorry I Haven't a Clue, Humphrey Littleton has died at the age of 86. After the break, tributes pour in for the British jazz innovator and radio satirist Humphrey Littleton, who's died at the age of 86. Humphrey Littleton, the much-loved presenter of radio's I'm Sorry I Haven't a Clue and the veteran jazz trumpeter, has died in hospital at the age of 86. As chairman of Radio 4's eccentric quiz show, he won fans for his self-deprecating and often bewildered style. His first love, though, was jazz, with a musical career that spanned a hit single in 1956 all the way to a collaboration with Radiohead. His comedy partner, Barry Cryer, told this programme he was a complete Renaissance man. The Sue Tertonau reports. We present I'm Sorry I Haven't a Clue, and your chairman is Humphrey Littleton. It was as the deadpan chairman of what was billed the antidote to panel games that Hump's grumpy persona and comic timing were immiscible for millions of listeners. Hello and welcome to I'm Sorry I Haven't a Clue. Hang on, I think my watch has stopped. <laughs> oh no, it hasn't. The empty chair beside him for his non-existent scorer, I Samantha, we the butt of so many innuendos. As usual, record researcher Samantha went to fetch the team's records from the gramophone library earlier, where she found the kindly old archivist sampling wines for Christmas. He'd brought in a selection of French wines, but there wasn't much left by the time Samantha got there. So, although she was disappointed he only had a semi-on, she said... <laughs> he had this bored, patrician air about him. Let's get this all over and go home, you know. And of course, the, uh, the introductions and the references to Samantha, our scorer, I mean, he called it blue chip filth. Nobody else could have got away with the lines he was getting away with. But he delivered them as if he'd no idea what they meant. He had many talents, from cartoonist to calligrapher, but jazz was his first love. This self-taught trumpet player made history in 1956 when his Bad Penny Blues became the first British jazz record to hit the top 20. People flocked to hear him and his band play and they took notice of what he said. And you feel this is a good way, do you, to, to break down prejudice, to bring these two together? I think it is, through music. After all, uh, musicians can only play, they can't fight, they can't argue. They just uh, get together and enjoy themselves. And, and we, need, we need all notes, we need the white notes and the black notes. That's right. right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. He was fated by the greats, here welcoming his hero Louis Armstrong to town. Satchmo said he'd come to hear Humph play. I'm looking forward to seeing him again, you know, quite nicely going to be backstage. <laughs> so it'd be about a chance about old time. 50 years on, and Humph was mixing it with another generation of musicians. This is him on stage with Radiohead. The spring series of I'm Sorry I Haven't a Clue has been cancelled. This bemused quizmaster with his regular panellists from a certain generation, unfathomable games like Mornington Crescent, and proceedings that often descended into the gentlest of anarchies, is surely irreplaceable. President Nixon later became known as Tricky Dicky after the Watergate affair, as later did President Clinton after the Lewinsky affair. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the show, and indeed this series. I'd, I'd really like to say how much I've enjoyed it, but I'm not allowed to before 9pm. 